these weapons that are built for the battlefield should not be in the hands of civilians. You know, when you look at what happened in New Zealand and how quickly that government responded to an incident, it's just, it's just unconscionable that we can't do something similar. I have something to tell you. We are built differently in America. No shame, no nothing to other countries out there, but we are built differently. You're not taking our guns. What's up, everyone? In this pack, I have a full-size AR with a 16-inch barrel, and you may be wondering how that's possible. Well, it's because of a company called Fold AR. Now, Fold ARs are engineered to get you to point A to point B, completely operational in terms of self-defense, but also undetected. It would be the exact same as concealed carrying a pistol. Literally comes together in five seconds. Oh yeah. Literally can do it all. Now something that might be even a little more amazing than the fact that this thing can fold in half is they offer a lifetime warranty and also an accuracy warranty. So if something happens, you're taken care of and you've got that peace of mind. Before we even start this, if you love the Second Amendment, if you love America, if you love everything about it, and you believe that our rights as Americans should not be infringed on, this is the channel for you. Hit that subscribe button, the bell, join the family. We have fun here. So, gun confiscation, you say, huh? Let's see if you're about it. So every time there is an advertised mass shooting. Now, mass, I don't know if six, is considered a mass. Obviously, any amount of life lost is not good, but let's be realistic about what words mean here. Several people were shot, not a mass shooting. What I would consider a mass shooting would be a Vegas, where a mass number of people were shot. We, as Americans, have to be very specific when we talk about this stuff. Can't leave anything up to the imagination. In the White House, they are leaving a lot up to the imagination for Americans. We're not good with it. We're not happy. Listen to Corrine Jean Pierre. Whatever happened to Saki? I miss her a little bit. This chick's just as bad. Is in support, not just banning the sale and manufacture of semi-automatic weapons, but further than that, confiscation. Let's let me just be very clear. What I like how you started with "Let me be clear." Like you have any power here? Okay. We're talking about AR-15s. These assault weapons ban, they are weapons of war and they should not be on the streets across the country in our communities. They should not be in schools. They should not be in grocery stores. They should not be in, in churches. That's what the president believes. So what you were saying is that you do believe that gun confiscation is an option. You're not just banning them. You're not just banning the sale, the manufacturing of them, all of that. No, you're getting rid of them. Meaning there's no grandfather program. You're gonna go door to door and you think that you're going to just take our guns. They are smoking some crazy stuff in the White House right now. I mean, okay, let's continue. That's what the president believes. And he has done more than any other president the first two years on an executive order. Hi, yeah, no one gives a shit. No one is impressed. The people who really hate guns want them banned, period. And then the people who believe in the Second Amendment believe in it, meaning no infringements, meaning it's just a straight line to, I want a gun today. I'm gonna go buy a gun. And as you know, we all know how government works. There's only so much that he can do. And so now it's time for Congress to do the work. And he's happy to sign once that happens. Yeah, thank God there's only so much he can do. He's happy to sign that legislation that says, okay, we're gonna remove assault weapons. We're gonna have an assault weapons ban. Oh, wow, you actually said it. Okay, that's the great part about live TV. You try to catch yourself, but you literally said we are going to remove assault weapons. Assault weapons. It would just not happen. But let's listen to some other folks on it because some people just underestimate the hell out of Americans. All these people who are selling guns, they make a lot of money off of children's deaths apparently in this country. They're worrying about, you know, other people, books, baloney items. This, they will not do anything about it. By the way, 
Thank you, Joe Biden, for trying to to put the, the ban on those assault weapons, which I should also point out that after a mass shooting in Australia in 1996, if they enacted a man- mandatory gun buyback and collected 700,000 privately owned guns. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can buy back this. We're not selling our guns back. This is so stupid. America is painted as this freedom place, but if you're a law-abiding citizen, you have to sell your weapon back because we're scared of what you can do with it. No, uh-uh. And then we got this person named Randy Weingard, and she pretty much says that We need to confiscate Americans' guns. And how many lives will be shattered before we have the courage to do what Scotland did, what Australia did, what New Zealand did, what other great democracies do? Yeah, we don't really care what other countries have done this and what other countries gave into our government. So now that we got all of the... uh, people who are like, oh, we're just going to take their guns. Serious, how would you do it? And remember, it's not just our guns. I imagine you're going to start with the law-abiding citizens, right? Because you think that we're going to be peaceful? Because you think that just because we're law-abiding, we won't, I don't know, make sure that our constitutional rights aren't infringed on? That's a pretty big bet you're making there. So let's play make-believe for a second, because all of y'all that we just listened to are definitely doing that. Let's say that Biden passes a assault weapons ban and confiscation. How many people do you think are going to actually care? Seriously, do you think we're all going to be like, oh my God, wow, they banned our guns. I've been watching this guy case my house for the past two weeks. So I'm going to for sure give my guns back to the government and make myself a possible victim of this dude who's been casing my house. It's very simple. You will have to take all of them. This ain't Australia. The St. New Zealand, the St. China, the St. Russia. There are a few things that we care about here, and guns is pretty much close to the top. I mean, what do you think you're going to do? You think you're just going to get a tactical team and go door to door? What happens if you bring 15 guys to a house with tactical gear and guns and night vision and all that, but there are 200 guys at the house with all of the same gear? So here's what I think. I think all of this is a show. I don't think they are going to try to do any of this because they simply can't be that stupid. There are too many guns, there are too many people who love their guns and would do a lot to protect their rights.